Hi, Mio Console 3D Art 3. We're going to set up aux buses for our headphone system, as well as a rough mix for our musicians. Let's determine how many auxes we need. In my system, I need two stereo and six mono. By using the configure mixer drop down, we can choose how many auxes we need to use. Then we start to name them. My first aux is my main mix. It's going to be a rough mix for the musicians. We can then decide whether it's stereo or mono, post or pre-insert, pre or post fader, visible on the strip, and whether or not it's in the monitor controller. My next input is a mono input for my keyboard player. And this one I don't need in the monitor controller. If you think you're going to want to make adjustments to your aux mixes and you need to make those adjustments through your speakers, that will determine whether or not you place them in the monitor controller. As soon as you set up your auxes and you've clicked OK, the sources you want to be in the monitor controller will show up there. Mio Console 3D is so flexible that you can really set up your cue system any way you like. Whether you've got a complicated headphone system with multiple inputs, you like to control things via faders, or the cue controller, or a combination, Mio Console 3D makes it easy. After I've done a little screen cleanup, I'm ready to create cue controls for my headphone system. I can either run all my auxes to the cue system, or just what I need, and use the faders for the rest. Set it up the way that best fits your workflow. Any of your auxes which you've set to be in the monitor controller will now show up as one of the sources. When you first open the cue controller, the first box that shows up is your talkback source. You can assign this to any input. Now let's create a cue controller for our main mix. We're going to make it source the main mix, and we're going to label it main mix. Then we can choose an output. I'm going to make the output my number two ULN8 box, channels one and two. Channels one and two of my number one box are used to power my monitors. Once I've got this cue controller set up, I'm going to add another one for my click track. First thing we do is label it. Then we add it to the monitor controller. And then we assign it an output. This is mono. We're going to assign it to channel 7 of my number one ULN8. Now that both cue controllers are assigned outputs and they both show up in the monitor controller, I'll be able to confidently monitor what I'm sending to the musicians from the control room. Let's assign the rest of the auxes their analog outputs as well. Now that all the auxes are assigned, this middle section will show all the aux sends that are sent to the headphone buses. Now I need to create a reverb return for my headphone system. This will be fed by the reverb aux bus that I created earlier. So I choose a reverb. We've got a tracking verb all set up. And we're ready to go. Don't forget to save.
coming up in part four, setting up rough mixes on the aux buses for a headphone system. <laughs>